So individuals who are being deceptive to questions are generally trying to appear innocent and the effort required to do that is what shows up in pupil changes and reading behavior. So the deceptive individual gives themselves away by the effort required to suppress the information that is true information and come up with the deceptive answers. There are a number of changes in uh, reading behavior. When people are trying to appear innocent, they change the way they are reading a question that they have to respond to. And a major measure of the eye detect technology is changes in pupil size. And a deceptive response translates to an increase in pupil size and our uh, eye tracking technology measures that and that's uh, a big part of how we detect uh, the difference between a deceptive and a truthful individual. Uh, well, as Dan said, when people are being deceptive, uh, they have to keep track of the fact that they're trying to hide the truth. So they know one thing, but they're trying to portray a different story. Uh, that is effortful. When someone is engaged in a high degree of cognitive load, um, usually their reading slows down, or they may have to spend more time rereading material. And so when people are being deceptive, it's going to affect their reading behavior uh, differently than when they're being truthful. Um, so our test involves statements instead of questions. So people are reading uh, statements about possible crimes they may have committed, and they're asked to answer true or false. Those statements are presented in a variety of different ways, and sometimes the answer is true, and sometimes the answer is false. And we do this so uh, we can get a variety of responses to the same issue. And so people also can't get used to reading the same question over and over again. They have to pay attention to every statement that they read.